Hi, it's me, Meredith, again of the Potato Museum, and I am showing off my favorite blouse, or is it a shirt, which Hasbro produced in 2002. It's Mr. Potato Head Picks His Nose. Now, if you want to get one, good luck at finding that at a thrift shop, but you might find this, which we also have in the potato collection. As you can see, it says potato jokes, and here you go. Why do potatoes vacation on the French Riviera? They like to see the French fry. <clears throat> Here's one. Why do potatoes make such good friends? You can count on them when the chips are down. And finally, and there's more than this, but I love this one. Do French fries stay out late at night? No. Oily to bed, oily to rise. <clears throat> and here we present a potato field in Prince Edward Island where they grow many potatoes. This was done by an artist friend of ours, Francis Wells. And as you can see, the field is totally in bloom. This picture appeared in the U.S. Botanic Garden exposition we worked on called Spuds Unearthed. Yeah, now a lot of people don't realize that the potato plant has flowers and um, many different colors. Look at this beautiful purple that comes in white and pinks. And you can see that uh, using the potato flour is very important for cross-pollinization to make uh, new varieties of potatoes. And here is this lovely potato blossom necktie from the Netherlands. Uh, here is a potato blossom queen in Maine from, uh, what, 1975. I'm not sure that they're still doing potato. They're still doing a potato blossom festival, I think, up in Maine, but maybe not so much having the queen. And look, it's potato blossom is even featured on our 